Hello everyone, welcome back to George Morgan TV for another video following our journey on LFM, Low Fuel Motorsport, as we tackle Assetto Corsa Competizione. And I'm taking you on a little journey, folks. We are on a mission. Please make sure you leave a subscribe, also leave a like as well. Push that red button, folks, and make sure you stay tuned into what we're doing. Now, first of all, Racing here on LFM, very competitive scene, obviously, that has really uh, vitalized the ACC scene. And uh, here in qualifying, we, of course, are no different. We really do love and embrace this. If you follow the streams as well that we do on YouTube, guys, you'll know all about it. We managed to achieve, though, P8 in this particular qualifying session and then got ready for the race. Starting, as I said, from P8 position on the fourth row of the grid, we hit pedal to the metal, and it was go, 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 go. In towards turn one, plenty of cars, though. Jockeying for position, we had a Mercedes, a Foley on the inside. You can just see him in the gold and white, uh, almost brawn looking livery there. Um, kind of like also the British GT uh, look on the McLaren that James Baldwin was using back in British GT. I think he's and uh, we didn't make contact. Yeah, we we actually managed to to withhold him, but I think Foley might have spun on the exit of turn three, which wasn't ideal. I did feel kind of bad about that, but at the same time, we didn't actually make contact with him. Um, it's right never nice, obviously, for little things. battles to end that way, and uh, we've had many of them in the past as well. Uh, speaking of which, we saw a massive three-car scrap on lap two. Things got a little fraught uh, with 23 minutes to go. As you can see, three cars in the mix, Gilotto, Backler, as well as Garbolino going wheel-to-wheel, -wheel, oh. battling in towards oh, turn three one. Three into one doesn't go, and all three oh. of them went off the track, so we gained well. an almighty three places, and P5 see, was on the race, table. Stay composed. Outrageous, folks, but it really did set a precedent. Unfortunately, though, for us, it wasn't all sunshine and rainbows. We dipped into the kerb on the inside out of turn three as well and oh, found no, ourselves no, pivoting, curb. heading around, and unfortunately we left ourselves open to be overtaken. We remained, though, in P5. We didn't lose any places, but Bayer behind is obviously a very fast driver, and we were very conscious of that, making our way through the race, especially around a circuit like Alton Park, where everything feels very, very close. Now, we had a moment, folks. Nine minutes to go, and we came across a stricken car. Oh, you idiot! Quickly warned about track limits. Absolute clown. Yes, yeah, so obviously we weren't happy. Um, Garbolino um, obviously was in the way of us and caused us to go off. And unfortunately, we didn't take it very well. And uh, he ended up losing a fleet full of positions. We did actually gain a place through that. We went from fifth to P4. Uh, because, of course, he was the place higher. But We're nevertheless, really the risk now. of damage, oh. it could have very, very oh, much crippled our race. Uh, okay, for the George, rest of the race, then, we had to try and dodge a little bit of traffic. There were plenty of lap cars that were right ahead of us, leading right through towards the tail end of the race. It's, co it's a common feature uh, when it comes to LFM races. We had to dodge and weave through many of them. We made a little mistake here, heading through the hairpin, which is so fraught, but we did well to correct. Uh, the car only getting past us was, in fact, just a lapped car. So it wasn't anything to really necessarily be worried about uh, but like I said we were working hard to try and hold on to our place a top four at this stage was magical obviously starting p8 trying to bring it home in this position was massive and I'll give credit to the lap cars they really did give us a lot of grace including this man Clementino who did certainly give us the grace and let us go ahead down the long back well down the long straight in the first sector uh, which was certainly very good of him to do so uh, we held it together again and uh, we had a couple of other offs as well to deal with and uh, Yadav ended up having to give us the place as well in the Lamborghini uh, after running off wide, obviously running his own race, having a few problems, and Clementino actually went above him as well on those closing laps. So now on the final lap, obviously bringing it home was necessary, and with Alton Park, with it being such a trying circuit as well, it is so difficult to master, uh, just given the fact that it's so narrow, various corners as well, you've got a mixture of straight line speed, mid speed, fast speed, slow speed corners, you know, you've got hairpins, you've got chicanes, you've got numerous obstacles in your way, but over and overall it is really enjoyable to drive on a bit of a roller coaster in its own right a lot of undulations while the elevation isn't totally steep it's the track itself that offers that undulation that really does challenge the drivers and it really does make well, you we're pick go back to back your braking spot but i'm going to let side. myself take it's you across the line one. come on yes nice one, George. great drive that's a podium so Top split we were P4 oh. across the line, guys. Obviously, we weren't P3. Uh, obviously, cars made an error towards the line. But that was a P4 in top split. Top split. And a, my grandest achievement, I think, to date.
in LFM. I hope you all enjoyed the video, folks. Please make sure, as I said, to leave a subscribe and also leave a like. And I'll see you soon for the next one.